Hello, so this tutorial is for those of you who are happy with the expanded written method for multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers, but you'd like to practice long multiplication of multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers. So we're going to use the calculation 34 multiplied by 27. Okay, and I'm going to set this out in the expanded method. Okay, I've left my ruler at school, so I'm going to have wonky, wonky lines today. So first of all, I list my calculations and I do this first, remember, because then I know exactly what I have to do and I don't forget as I'm going. So I start off with my ones times by my ones, so my seven times four. Then my ones multiplied by my tens. So I'm partitioning out my numbers. Then I move to my tens and I'm saying, right, my tens multiplied by my ones. And my tens multiplied by my tens lost my bracket. Then I'm going to put my equal sign. Okay. And then I can work through these. So it's the same way that we did for our area model. We work through them one calculation at a time. So starting off with our ones times our ones, I know that four times seven is 28 or seven times four is 28. You can either use your fours or your sevens to help you work that one out. And I put my two in my tens column and my eight in my ones column. Happy so far. Good. I then look at my seven times 13. Remember, we look, we're look we looking for multiplication facts that we can use to help us here. I know that seven times three gives us 21, and I know that 30 is 10 times bigger than three, so I know my answer is going to be 10 times bigger. My answer is 210. Now, I'd be really, really careful. I maybe need to move that along a little bit. I'd be really careful with how you put your digits in the columns here because you haven't got square paper. Well, you might have square paper, actually, if you're lucky. I don't have square paper, so I've got to make sure that I have put these all in the correct columns and that they line up well, okay? And then looking at my 20 times 4, I know that 2 times 4 is 8, and I know that 20 is 10 times bigger than 2, so I know that 20 times 4 is going to give me 80. Are they in good columns? Yeah, they're fine. Oh, and then there was this one, remember, we said 20 times 30 and how we worked that one out. We looked at our number our uh, number facts for 2 times 3 and we said that was 6. But then we said 20 was 10 times bigger than 2. So our answer had to be 20 10 times bigger. So 20 times 3 gave us 60, but it's not 3, it's 30, which is also 10 times bigger. So our answer has to be 10 times bigger again. So we know that our answer for this is going to be 600. Okay, then all we do is we add our digits up in those columns and that's why it's so important for these to track properly, okay? Eight adds zero gives us eight. Two tens add eight tens gives us 10 tens. Add that one 10 gives us 11 tens. So I'm gonna exchange 10 of those tens for 100, pop that in my hundreds column and the one 10 that I've got left is gonna go in my tens column. I then have two 100s, add six 100s which gives me eight 100s, thank you. Add my extra 100 here and I've got nine 100. So my answer is 918. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that using the short method, the shorter method. Okay, so we've got 34 times by 27 and we set it out in the same way. Okay, so do, 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 do. equal sign, lovely, practically gone off my page. Right, I only write down two brackets here. Because whereas we've partitioned this four into four calculations, I'm going to partition this into two different calculations. I'm going to stick with my ones to start with and write down seven times. But in this case, it's going to be 34. So not just four and then 30. I'm going to merge these together onto that one line. And then underneath that, I'm doing the same again. Always write my brackets out first. Underneath that, I'm going to put my 20 times uh, my 34. Okay, so I've just partitioned out this 27 here. Rub that off because it's annoying me. Okay, so on this first line, I am going to still do the same calculation. So I'm going to work out, first of all, 7 times 4, which gives me 28. But instead of writing my 2 and my 8 like this, I'm actually just going to put a really small 2 in there because I know that I've got more to calculate on that line. So I've got my 2 in my 10s column and my 8 in my 1s column. Okay, happy so far. Good. And then looking at the rest of the calculation, so then have to do seven times three tens. So again, that's seven times 30. We know it's 210, but I've got to add on these two tens. So I'm going to get 230 in there. 
okay? What I'd like you to do at this moment in time is to have a little look back at my expanded method and see if you can spot where 238 is over here. Okay, I'm hoping that you've spotted that my seven times four, my seven times 30 is this calculation here and that 210 add 28 gives us 238. Okay, so it's these two combined into that one row. <clears throat> All right, then gonna move to my next calculation, which is 20 times 34. And we do the exact same thing. We start off with our two tens and I multiply them by four because we're in our tens now. And I put a zero down in this column. Now, why do I put that zero down in my ones column? Why do I have zero in my ones? I'm hoping that you've just shouted at your screen you're never going to have any ones if you're multiplying by a multiple of 10. And you are absolutely right, you won't. If we're multiplying four by two tens, four by 20, we're not going to have any ones, okay? So I know that my two tens multiplied by four is going to give me eight tens. So that goes in my tens column, okay? Happy so far, good. Final calculation I need to do is my 20 times 30, which we knew gave us 600, okay? So I need to make sure that, again, I'm putting this in the correct column and my six 100s go in my 100s column. All right, the last thing we have to do is add these up, okay? We add these together. And I know that eight add zero is gonna give me eight ones. I know that three tens add eight tens is going to give me 11 tens. And I have to do the same thing. I've got to exchange 10 of those tens for 100 and that goes over here. I forgot to do my bottom equals sign. And then I've got two 100s and I add six 100s to it. But I also have to really, really make sure I remember to add this extra 100 that I've exchanged so that I have nine 100s. And that is how we multiply by two digit numbers.